What's going on, everybody? KD for the Wealth Wells. Today is 8-6-2023. This is your weekly prep where we go over market moving data. We're going to cover a uh, recap from last week. We're going to do upcoming events. We're going to talk about a few testimonials. We're going to talk about the VVP indicator training and then what the levels are for this week to get you on your way. All right. So our major data events, let's talk about what that's going to look like this week. So here's our focus for the week, CPI, PPI, and consumer sentiment. That's uh, the, the major moving events. Obviously, CPI is going to be the bigger event for the week, and that's going to set the tone. That's going to be dropping toward the back side of the week on Thursday. Top side of the week, we've got consumer credit coming out. We've got some uh, wholesale inventories and the like coming out, but those won't rock the market as much as bonds and CPI will. So this week, pay attention to the bonds market for sure to see where uh, you know liquidity is shifting. But the CPI 830 is going to take that jobless claims as well, coming off of a nice jobless uh, or some uh, jobless claim numbers from last week. We're going to see what that does and how that affects the Fed's decisions moving forward. And then PPI final demand and consumer sentiment on Friday. These are the three major data points, Thursday and Friday, Thursday and Friday this week. All right. That's what we can look forward to. And then consumer sentiment, it's going to uh, kind of drive this thing even further into where we need it to be. All right. So that's those are the market events that we're going to be looking for. Now, what are the um, the levels? All right. Well, here, here's here's some of the data points that we want to look at for this week. All right. So we're taking a look at the futures. Now, before we get there, how about we talk about what last week looked like? So here's last week here uh, in the KD Trades channel. I post all my uh, wins and losses from the week before. You can see when I win, when I lose. So this is one single contract, right? The amount of trades I take, and this is the percentage, and this is the profit that you would make if you've understood my trades, if you would be looking and in and, and, and the similar trades, you would be making this for one contract. Now, typically, I am 10x this or more. So you can take this number of times it by 10, and that'll help you to appreciate what you could be doing. But even if you were to trade one contract, here's our trades for the day now. I only traded the afternoon, the afternoon trades. These are only afternoon trades. Periodically throughout the year, I switch to afternoon trades for one week every couple of months. This is to accommodate those inside the Discord who cannot log on for the morning session. I'll switch it up to show you how to trade the afternoon session. That's what we did last week. Every single day, I only traded the afternoon. So yes, I had more trades than this, but the ones that I traded as far as options that I traded live, that's what you see here. I did make more profits than this, but to be fair and transparent, this is the only thing that I recorded for you guys so that you can see that. So anyone who was in the Discord took these trades, you, you saw what we got there. So we're sitting around 9.66% profit. This means every trade I take on average, I'm winning at 9.667 trades on Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, a uh, Friday, a uh, Monday rather was a travel day for me. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I traded four trades there, sixty-two uh, percent there. Three trades on Thursday, seven point nine five, and then Friday, I had five futures trades wrapped with options and one major options trade that I just managed throughout the day, one hundred fifty-nine percent. Happy about that. You can see my entry exit. You can see the profit there. And in addition to that, you can also see when I. Uh, my my cost per contract, all that cool stuff I post inside the Discord as well. So that's the breakdown from last week. You can come into the uh, KD's, KD's Trades channel and you can see the, the progress there. Now, that's how we did last week. I don't have red days. I don't have red weeks. I do have red trades, uh, but I quickly make up for them and keep rolling. All right. So this week, we know what we can look forward to backside of the week, 8.30 Thursday, CPI, 8.30 Friday, PPI, 10 a.m. Friday, consumer sentiment, all right? Now, let's talk about some levels here, all right? So what you're seeing on your screen is the VVP indicator. Now, folks have been raving about this indicator, and it is my indicator, all right? It is KD in a box, and it's designed to help you understand how to trade with the VVP trading system. It is a superior indicator. It is subscription-based nominally priced for you to understand how to read the market. All right. It is my cheat code. It automatically plots my key areas of interest, my key levels, and it is using volume and a script in the underlying code to calculate what I want to see plus 
a ton of other things, all right? So when you have this on your screen and you use that in harmony with the volume profile, which will be released uh, any moment now, then uh, you'll you'll have gold. You'll have gold. All right. So just looking at uh, our levels here, 4560 to the upside, we already had a level there. Would you look at how we reacted off of that level? Now, if you go back to any of my weekly preps, you can clearly see these levels have already been there. The VVP indicator agrees with them, volume agrees with them, then I know I've got gold. So I'm watching to the downside, 4,500 there. I'm also going to be watching 4,475 CPI. And I've got an area of interest sitting, where, sitting somewhere around 4,429 to 4,418, 4,420. And then I got another level here at 4,404 on the futures. All right. What do I foresee? I foresee a run up up to 4,53 area, maybe 4,550 or 4,450. And then us dancing around there and ping ponging off of ping ponging off of this area right i would like to see us break out of this area to fill this gap back here from tuesday up around that 44600 you can clearly see there is buy volume buy pressure sitting around this area and so um if we get a good print no doubt we'll go back up there so this is not bad on the top side of the week for you to kind of look for the move look for a hold off of 4500 get in early and just ride that thing up i will be pairing that i'll do a a, a, a weekly swing on that as well just to see up into that thursday area so uh, prior to thursday's print i will be looking to close my position and then if i see catalysts come in off of our cpi print and i am going to go long um with my position on the futures and or if, if the print comes in negative, I'm going to short this thing down to my key levels and trail as we go. All right. So this this we're, we're talking bonds. We're talking um, CPI and we're talking jobless claims. That's what we want to pay attention to. We're trying to ascertain whether or not the feds will continue their their path. Right now, the key takeaway is labor supply continues to be tight. So this could make it difficult for the feds to achieve a more moderate. Um, position in wage growth. And uh, if it doesn't uh, get the numbers that it's looking for, uh, then the Fed is going to be inclined to uh, keep the policy rate higher for a longer period of time, for a longer period of time. All right. So, you know, we came off of non-farm payrolls last week, right? So, you know, that was tight. Uh, July's numbers versus uh, June's numbers, they, they, were, they were pretty good. Uh, but on average, um, Hourly earnings, they rose about 0.4%. So all of this speaks to the strength of the job market. That is a key component into seeing whether or not the feds can continue to do what they do. All right. So CPI, obviously a major data point. I foresee a run Monday and Tuesday. I foresee a run. If we're going to get a move, the move is poised and positioned for those two days. All right. Those are the days we're going to get our move. Wednesday, look for low volume, chippy action, and timidity, perhaps even a late day sell-off. All right, look for that. Now, how has this Discord, we'll keep talking about these levels in a minute, but how has this Discord been helping people crush this thing? We're going to do a little spotlight here, and we're going to talk about um, some testimonials. So let's talk about SDJ posted his testimonials 713 last month. We'll talk about August later on in our next one. He says, he got to say the days like today, super chippy day, slow action becomes the true test of your abilities. And I am proud to say how much I have developed mentally to do what I did today. Had first trade green, nothing major as opening first trade, and then hit a bigger loss on the second trade. With all the training from the wealth wells, helped him to stay controlled and again, mentally focused, right? On his price action and pops, which... He was able to crawl from red to green by his third trade. Last fourth trade got him green. And his patience, control of emotions, his discipline, using the VVP indicator and the VVP trading system. Uh, he says, thank you, KD, for helping me change my mindset in the past more than a year uh, that he's been in the Discord. And he can say he's proud of his success. That's what we're about in here. You're, you're not, if you're looking to, uh, you know, for a scheme, scam, get rich quick, all that cool stuff that you guys think that's, uh, you know, that the the scammers thinks is cool, then hey, you you go for that. But if you're gonna if you're looking to trade effectively, and you're looking to really crush this thing, then this is this is what you're gonna get. It's gonna take you time, but you're gonna develop skills, high six and seven figure skills that's gonna allow you to crush this thing. So he says, thank you. Looking forward to continue to developing his journey under my wings. Appreciate that. The training is essential. I agree with that. 
There are no shortcuts or secret spin to this. You are absolutely right. Discipline. Stick to it. Use this trading system, and you're going to be able to crush this thing. So a lot of people agree with them. Now, what's what's helping them win? What's helping the, a lot of these guys in the Discord, myself included, is the VVP indicator. The VVP indicator is not a lagging indicator. It's a real-time indicator that plots areas of interest, key data points, levels, and other things based on the script, the algorithm that I have running behind the scenes, and volume. The three fabrics that move the market is volume, volatility, price action. It takes in consideration my trading system, the things I look for. And when I see it, when it appears on the screen, coupled with your own levels, and when we have levels that overlap, like for example, you can see one of the automatic levels overlapping to my level here. It is no coincidence, all right? These levels were already here, folks. It's no coincidence that the futures market opens immediately at our level, right? Right above our key target areas and then chops at our digital or our automatic levels as well, and then chips around in areas of interest. And we're going to see rejection in this area with possible chipping around until we are pulled up, right? Based on sentiment. It's no coincidence. All of that is reading the market, reading the levels, understanding level two data, understanding volume, volume running a script behind here to give me what I want to see. Like Novocaine, it works every time. So how do you get the VVP indicator? I will put a link in this video for you to subscribe to the VVP indicator, all right? Otherwise, you can come into the Discord and you can simply scroll down and click indicators. I have a video right here on how to use it. This is how you get it. And when you have any questions or concerns or what have you, you can always come into the Discord and open a ticket and uh, we'll be glad to answer those if there's any type of you know problem you know getting in, getting access to it. We, we ask that you allow 48 hours for the team to allow you to get access to it. We do have a lot of requests. And so you will get access within 48 hours to this indicator and then watch the video, okay? We also have a cheat sheet down here to help you understand how to use this thing, all right? It is a game changer, no doubt about it, all right? So in addition to that, what else do you need? All right, you are gonna need a few things. Number one, you're gonna need training. Now, you can take KD setups. These are specific one-hour trainings that you can take in any order to help you crush this thing every single day. They work even better when you take the core training, which you have to take in order from 0 to 4.5. We cover everything you need to know to day trade, including reading the tape, advanced discussions on volume, and we even go into detail about the futures. Now, the reason why that's important is because last week and often – when I'm doing my trades and calling out, all right, I'm oftentimes, I'm oftentimes pairing my trades with futures trades. And if you have, if you understand how to do that, you are going to be incredible. Futures and options, two for two, right? I, other folks, 25 points on the futures. They're also trading at the, uh, the S&P as well. You see that? I've got multiple contracts, multiple securities going at the same time. And when you learn how to do that, you'll be able to capitalize. The only way to do that is not by luck. I don't believe in luck. That's not what we do here. It's just flat out skill development. So I asked the group, you know, we had a good time in here. Somebody gave me a goat. I don't know if I'm the greatest of all time, but I do know uh, this is what I understand, day trading, all right? So if you want to learn how to do that, come on in the Discord. If you behave, you can stick around. Ask folks who's making some money, who's being profitable. Folks said that they are excellent week, excellent day. I post my stats every single day inside the private channel there. All right. So I just want to highlight that so you can understand how we get these numbers, right? The six figure days, the high five figure days, even the four figure days. How are people able to get to this level, right? It's not by coincidence. It's not by fluke, right? It's not by chance. It's none of that kind of stuff. How are people able to hit this kind of stuff and get all these trades? They've taken training. They understand how to do it. And then They've got the things on their screen that they need. They're reading the market and they're crushing this thing. All right. So those are the key levels that we're looking at. 4,500 to the downside, 4,560 to the upside. We're going to play the automatic levels and the key areas of interest as we go and crush this thing. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, we're going to look for our, our move. Wednesday, we expect low volume for some of you newbie traders. I'd say stay out. I don't care what happens Wednesday because historically it's dicey. It's dicey the day before CPI prints. It's dicey. The volume, the volatility is just not there. Now, finally, last but not least, let's take a look at VIX. Now, VIX, I've got VIX futures and I've got the VIX 
I have an area of interest at 17.46 all the way up to 17.99. I expect the pivot action to be up to happening in this area right here. Now, we can clearly see there was a buy up on VIX. What does this mean? All right, think it through. When investors start to buy into the VIX, VIX is used to hedge against other uh, classes and other trades inside the S&P. And so when you see an uptick in the VIX, the reason why the S&P moves down is because investors are hedging over here. The more pressure we see in the hedging area, the more volatile we can expect the move and the more aggressive we can expect the move to be as it pertains to the S&P, which means that once we see people buying in the VIX, then we will know the S&P is moving to the downside for that short interim. It also can tell you the frequency, right? So now when we have an area of interest up here or a pivot level, we can expect for the hedging to stop or pause in this area, which may signal a reversal or a retracement. Either way, that's how you trade. Not the supply and demand junk, not patterns, not lagging indicators, actual data. Nothing else on my screen, all right? So I'm going to encourage you guys to do a couple of things. Come into the Discord follow the rules, all that cool stuff. You can watch this video on how to navigate the Discord. We teach you how to do all that cool stuff. Read the testimonials, then go get the courses. Go down the stack. It'll be the best time you've ever spent to trade. Join tier three. This is where I spend the most of my time, all my call outs, trade discussion, ad hoc training, lives, all that stuff happens in here. And then you can jump into the video trainings channel. And if you want to see my last live session, where I traded the afternoon only, right? The full day, we have more than four wins, okay? But I only traded the afternoon and I went live for you guys. You can see how I did that. And then day, uh, weekly, I post my stats so that you can see, all right, what we're doing and how we're crushing this thing, okay? So we're gonna be bright and early right here in the spy only options room to crush this thing tomorrow, all right? One word for the week, discipline. All right. Discipline. If you discipline yourself, the skies are the limit. Most people can't get to their dreams. They can't get to their goals in the market because they lack the training. They, they lack the, the development, the patience, the mindset, and the discipline. I'm going to also encourage you to spend time. I'm giving you free game. Go over to our YouTube channel. First, like and subscribe this video right now. Just take your time. Show us some love. Like and subscribe to the video. Okay. Then go over to our sister channel, the Wealth Wells Podcast. Now, the Mindset Mondays series is a live series that we do inside of the Discord where we touch on major topics that affect the mind and skill development for trading. That's recorded and posted at a later time. But if you want it hot off the press, you're going to have to come into the Discord. All right. So folks ask questions like, well, I'm, I'm progressing. How do I know how to govern or gauge my progress? What are the principles of making money? How do I really work on my mind? What are the three C's of day trading, right? Uh, what, what, what do you suggest for paper trading? I, I'm struggling with balance. I can't get these stop losses right. Or maybe you just have a deeper problem. You, you, you have a, an issue with poor habits. Or maybe you've lost a lot of money and you've lost it in other discords and you really want to know what does it take to make it back? Well, we talk with real traders in the discourse, some moderators and other great traders whom I have developed, and they tell you how they were able to do it. And they may surprise you with some of the things that they talk about and, how, and the system here that they're using. It might surprise you. All right. So listen, it's been a pleasure talking with you guys and training you here this morning or this, this evening, sorry, for the morning session. I'll be bright and early, 915. We're going to crush this thing. You've got the levels. You understand where we're going. And um, I'm going to leave you with this. If you show up, you'll go up. Now, what does that mean? Show up to the market prepared and disciplined and watch your skill level and your account go up. KD for the Wealth Wells, signing out.